ready, I'm ready. I know. Wait, are we rolling? Here's what I want you to know. You know what? I wanted to make this video. A lot of my friends are going through changes and as am I. Well, I'm always going through changes. I'm a woman. I didn't want this video to be like, oh, I'm freaking depressed, guys. This is how I freaking get happy. I wanted to help some people out there that might feel like stuck or thinking that nothing is going to be okay. Ugh, I almost feel selfish withholding this information. And to give you some of my tips that I've kind of realized over the years, I know I'm young and people are like, You think you know everything? They have really much changed my life, so here you go. Let's break it down. It's no secret that everybody wants a better life, right? I mean, even if you don't want a better life, I don't think that anybody would be opposed to the idea of improving aspects of your life. Sometimes it's really hard to get to that place of happiness because of, you know, thoughts in your mind or people that just kind of take that happiness away. But sometimes it's the unknown that scares us. I mean, there's tons of things that scare me that I don't know about or I think might happen in the future. And I think that's something that a lot of people struggle with is thinking, well, what if in the future I'm going to suffer? What if this is going to happen? What if I'm going to freaking be in pain? But what if we learned from, actually, well, I've read in a lot of books such as How to Get What You Want by John Gray and MarieForleo.com is that your future is right now. So what you think that, what if in the future I'm going to suffer? Well, are you suffering right now? Because we're five minutes than when we were five minutes ago, so we're in the future. Are you suffering? No? Good. Okay, here's an example, okay? In many years, I lived thinking, oh, my body is so not how it should supposed to be, but in the future, it will be. I'm going to make sure it will be. Or this job really, really isn't just it, but in the future, I'm going to make sure that that's going to be it. You know what I mean? Like, in the future, that's going to be it. Or this relationship, this really, no, okay? No. This mentality is 100% exactly the opposite of how you should be thinking. Your future in the future is now, is right now, because all we really have is right now. To be happy in the future and to be amazingly successful and do all those things in the future, you have to be successful and happy and calm right now. Like, to be that in the future, you have to be that now. Do something right now. And what I mean by that is you have to handle this current moment to the best of your ability. Fully submerse yourself and making this moment to the best of your ability and excellence will show in your future, I guarantee. first thing that you have to realize is what is your purpose so what are you trying to do what is your goal that you're trying to reach is it is it an obstacle you're trying to overcome is it um, a project that you're trying to do is it a breakup with a friend or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or just getting through a weekend with the in-laws a, a body physical goal that you're trying to achieve, anything that it could be, you have to realize is where are you going? Where do you want to be? What What is the purpose of your journey? Second tip is to go from one to two, not one to ten. You have to remember that everything in life is figure outable. Everything. Okay, no matter what it is, everything can be figured out and broken down into tiny, teeny, tiny little baby steps and go from one to two. When you look at a big, huge task and you're like, oh, God, I'm never, I, never, I mean, I, I can't, it's, I can't. All you have to do, break it down into teeny, tiny, tiny little atom sized tiny baby steps and just go from there. What is the first step? It doesn't even have to be a big step. It doesn't have to be a huge, meaningful, big step. It can even just be, I don't know, put your running shoes on, eat some breakfast, read a page of your project 
assessment guide. Getting off the couch, you did that? Good. After you've done that first step, great. You've handled this moment, you've handled this particular thing you needed to do, now let's move on to the next moment. And that's all it is, is moment to moment. We are already in the future than we were five minutes ago. And are you stressed? Are you in pain? No? Well, there you go. Before you know it, you won't even have time to think about your worries. You'll be busy handling moment to moment. Next tip is do not leave this moment in time. And I know we've kind of talked about this, but it's severely, severely important that you stay in this current moment of time. Because whenever you leave this current moment, and you take a mental vacation in your head and think, oh, I remember that time, or, oh God, what's gonna happen? Oh. Or you're just basically taking yourself out of this moment in time and from what you're actually doing to somewhere else mentally. That is a complete recipe for disaster. The what if concept is a black hole. Going on in a daydream or something, just remember, why am I thinking about this? Just think what is in front of you right now. What are you doing? What is that? What do you need to do right now? Where are you? Where are you standing? What are you holding? Who are you talking to? Do that, okay? Not this in your head, because that's not going to get you from A to B or from what to two, ever. Basically making you in a standstill, and it's giving you anxiety, which causes health issues such as wrinkles and we don't want that. Whenever, and I mean whenever you find yourself not being in this present moment, you just gotta just slap yourself. Okay, maybe mentally, not physically because people might stare in public. So thank you so much and whatever you're going through, I guarantee you 110% that nothing lasts forever, including pain and it's gonna be okay. If you make it okay, it's gonna be okay. Practice makes perfect. You just have to practice this. It's not gonna happen from one day. You have to make sure to practice this over and over again. You can't just wake up one day and suddenly you're like, oh, I don't have any bad thoughts today. What is your journey? What is your purpose? And whatever it is, you can get there because your future is right now. Thank you for watching. And I'm sorry about my sweatiness. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.